Um, for parts of this video, I did have to pull the curtains and turn the lights on because it was everything was just appearing really white. <laughs> to use a base to create a triangle and we're going to start from the middle of the brow to the outer corners of our eyes and go back from the middle of the brow to the inner corners of our eyes then inside of the triangle we're going to apply a white base all over the lid and just fill out all the inside of the triangle Then, on top of the white base, we're going to place a red shadow. And try not to go over the border of the triangle. Keep within the lines. If you do slightly go over it, just retrace the border. Now on top of the border, we're going to place a yellow eyeshadow. On the outer corners of the triangle, we're going to place a matte black eyeshadow. Please blend, blend, blend because we don't want a harsh black line. Now we're going to take the black shadow slightly down into the inner corners of our eyes to meet the end of the triangle. We're now applying a base to our lower lash line and then we're going to apply a green shadow on top of it. We're going to take the base into a happy area to meet the end of the triangle and then on top of that we're going to place a green eyeshadow. We're now going to apply lash glue to the points of the triangle and the ends of the triangle, the two sides if I'm making any sense. And now we're going to apply white glitter the glitter i'm using has green and red reflex in the glitter but you can just use white glitter if you can find it this is just what i had then we're going to apply mascara Now we're going to do the rest of the face, highlight, contour, apply blusher, set our face, etc. Now I went for natural lashes because the eyes are already pretty dramatic. So I just went natural, you can go dramatic if you wish. Go 
up on the That's town. Up. She says she not gonna leave me alone. She prefer spend a little time with the family. Yeah. She not in a the hype on the vanity. No, no, no. She not need no makeup, not go bed with lipstick. Anytime I night, any problem, she fix it. Yeah. Even if a little tea with a biscuit, anything for me wish list. We need a island girl in my world. So bring the sunshine love to me. I need a island girl in my world. To make my dreams a reality. We need a island girl in my world. To bring the sunshine love to me. We need a island girl. She could have fat, could have slim, anything in between. Perfect. Well, it no matter to me. She could have black, could have white, Indian or shiny. One out of many. Yeah. She could have fat, could have slim, anything in between. Now on our lips we're going to apply a sleek matte me. The name of the matte me I'm using will be listed in the description bar below. Everything I used on my face will be listed in the description bar below. So just open the description bar and you have all the products. contains several characteristics beginning with its colors the green is for the fertile lands the yellow is for the year-round sunshine the black for the African heritage and the red for the struggle from slavery through colonialism I can never say that word colonialism you know what word I'm trying to say okay and to, in to independence um, the two white stars displayed in the diagonal black band represents the island of St. Kitts and Nevis, as well as symbolizing the independence and opt optimism. Um, so for the two white stars on the flag have three meanings. Three meanings. I did it, um, three stars. So I added glitter, white glitter. Um, National bird is the um, pelican, which I'm gonna get up a photo for you guys. A pelican reminds me of kind of like seagulls, if that's the right type of animal. So this is what their national bird. The music, um, I couldn't really find a lot of. Saint Kitian, Saint Kitian, Kitian or Novitian music. So um, there's not a lot that there'll be any in this video because I couldn't find anything. I I couldn't, and I don't understand why. One thing I found that was kind of similar is that their um, national dish has saltfish in it. So their national dish is saltfish and. Um, breadfruit with um plantain now they say it different they say it's stewed saltfish they say their national dish is stewed saltfish um with i think roasted breadfruit and spicy plantain i don't know if that means they put pepper on the plantain or if it's just regular planting and they call it spicy plantain i am not sure if you are a kitchen if i can say that right or a novician please 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 novician novician i don't know how to say this but please comment down below any little facts you think anyone would like to know and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the series let me know what you guys think of this look 
And also let me know what island you want me to do next. Um, if you have any island in mind, please don't say Jamaica because I... Oh.